Hello everyone, welcome to Sailor School. In this video, we will be talking about IMO number of a ship. What is an IMO number? The IMO number is the unique reference number assigned to each ship for identification purpose. So it is composed of three letters IMO which refers to International Maritime Organization and later it is followed by a unique seven digit number. For example, if the IMO number of a so and so vessel is IMO 9619907, the IMO number is permanent. That means it remains the same from the time that the keel of the vessel is laid to the time where the vessel will be scrapped. If there is any change of owner, change of flag state, the IMO number will remain the same through the entire birth and death of a ship. So please, most of you guys will get confused in IMO number and the official number. The IMO number is given by the International Maritime Organization, whereas your official number of the vessel is given by your flag state. And this official number is only useful in case if your vessel is doing coastal voyages in your own country or country of registration. The IMO number must be reported on the ship certificate in the column which is entitled as official number or call sign. The IMO number is mentioned in each and every certificate of your ship. As you can see, what all ships require the IMO number. As per the regulations from the International Maritime Organization, it is said to be mandatory for all propelled seagoing ships with a gross tonnage of 100 tons and above, cargo ships and fishing vessels, refrigerated cargo vessels or supply vessels which have length of 12 meters or more and passenger vessels which are smaller and non-steel hull vessels. All these kinds of vessels are supposed to be having an IMO number. So that's it for this video. I hope you have understood clearly about what is an IMO number, who authorizes it and what's its significance. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Until we meet next time, take care. Bye bye.